hello everyone welcome back again back to my channel if you're new to my channel please don't fail to hit the like button and subscribe button and share my video in this video i'm going to be showing you how i'm going to make a top for a young child of 10 years old and also these are the measurements which i'm going to be using and i miss it up the vertical measurement is all messed up here so yeah it's shoulder to shoulder which is 13 and a half inches I'm going to add half an inch to it for the sewing allowance for my ham hole, which is going to be so I'm going to turn this to 14 inches. 14 inches divided by 2 is going to be 7 inches. So I'm going to erase that. So also the round shares measurement, which also 28 inches divided by 4 is 7.5. And also the shoulder to shoulder to waist is 12.5 inches. That's my vertical measurement for the child. The round of the waist is 25 inches. 0.5. I divide by four what i have here is going to be 6.4 so this is the ham hole and this is the length of the sleeve so the length of the flag i'm going to add the flag to the top and this is sleeve cap i'm going to make a sleeve for the child as well and this is the bicep round is 10 inches divided by two it's going to, it's going to be five inches and this are i'm going to use for calculation of the flare which is 25 and 0.5 plus two inches for allowances uh, which is 27.5 divided by two so divide by 6.28 what i have is 4.4 so let's get on the work table so yeah what i'm going to do here is this if you wonder how I, how I cut out how i folded by my pattern uh, here i have the front panel i had it to get out with the back panel and you can see this is the back panel i'm going to have put a zip on this top um this is how i folded it this is the front panel and this is the back panel so what i did was this i just had it together like this behind the zipper allowance and i pin it up that's what i have here so if you can see that i've already mark, started marking it out <laughs> so i decided to film it but so if you wonder how i mark it out i'll show you so i took one inch at the top of my front panel that's where i'm going to start my drafting from so I roll out a straight line like this. So what I did was that the first measurement I did was this. I took out my shoulder to shoulder. My shoulder to shoulder was 13 and a half inches plus half an inch for sewing allowance for my to have my sleeve is 14 inches divided by two what I have is seven inches. So from here to here is seven inches. So for my neck for my neck width I put two point six. For my neck depth I put two point six for the child as well and also for the ham hole the ham hole is uh, 14 inches so for 14 14.5 so when i divided by two what i have was 7.3 so yeah i just had i had it to uh two i don't know i had it to to it run it up to 7.5 so what i have here from year to year is 7.5 and another ruler this straight line here that is also called my chest line so after doing that, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to find the mid spot, oh, mid spot of this ham hole. The mid spot, this is 7.5. So the mid spot, when I come back, I'll show you the next step. I have 7.5. So you want to find 7.5? You don't want to use your calculator. You can just use your tape measure. So yeah, I have 7.5. So what I'm doing here is just to have my begin of my a tape measure to that 7.5 and I just press it out that's it I got my miss spot so just take it like this so here is my miss spot oh sorry I'm using pen here is my miss spot so what I'll do here I'll come in by half an inch for the front panel then the back panel i just go in by half of half of that half of, half an inch you can find everything here on your tape measure how to divide it so after doing that i will now go and look for my round chest measure my round chest measure is 28 inches 0.2 i divide by four what i have is 7.5 so i will just go here like this and measure as 7.5 
here i have 7.5 which is here so i'm going to have this part from there to there to there now i've dried my hand hole so the next step is i'm going to take out my front body measure my front body measurements and my straight body measurement from my shoulder to my waist is 12 and a half inches so i'll come here like this i'll bring out 12 and a half inches from here like so which is also called 12.5 So now I'm going to draw a straight line like so. So after drawing a straight line, remember I need a uh, one and a half inch, you know, or one inch to hold my back panel. Sorry, to hold my flare to my body of my top so I'll need so me I always like to work low fabric so I'm going to come down by one and a half inches here yeah that would be for my sewing allowance which I'm going to use to add my my flare to my top so I'm going to put it here and mark it out so friends I was thinking of adding a dart to this dress but I changed my mind so I decided to just make it plain and so now i'm going to put on my round body measurement my round body measurement for the waist is um it's 25 and a half inches so if you divide that by four what i have is 6.4 inches so yeah i'm going to put in 6.4 inches i just run it to 6.5 inches 6.5 inches so i'm going to add extra one and a half inches you know it's a child you know they like free clothes so i'm going to add extra one and a half inches for her as well it is for for the allowances for the child so for the ham hole here uh i'm going to bring it down to this way to the sewing allowance then I use my curve ruler to connect it to the ham hole at this spot here. Remember, I did not had anyway, I just leave it like because I use the boss point for the ham hole. So, you know, our body is not straight, it's curving. So, now I'm going to next, I'm going to do here is to just add uh, uh, one inch for sewing allowance. That would be my sewing allowance for the body shape. This place, then I'll just cover it in. Ah, that's it. So, what I'm going to do here, remember the shoulder length, the shoulder slope here, you need to follow the shape of the shoulder slope. So, yeah, the shoulder slope I'll come up by one inch. I just follow the shape. That would be for the allowance which i'm going to add use it to add the back panel and the front panel together it's very important you you do that so now i'm going to cut it up before i cut it maybe i did not put the back uh panel deep depth line for the child so my back panel, I want it to be very, very deep, friends. And it's going to be very deep. It's going to be up to the chest line of the child. So, my back panel for the child, let me bring it down more to 6 inches. It's going to be 6 inches. That's how I want it. So, it's going to be 6 inches. Right, that's where I mark it here. So I'm going to cover it very soon. So now I'm going to cut it out. So I'm going to follow the shape. I'm going to cut from here. Cut, 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 cut. Cut at my front, my back panel, hammer first. This way, cut, 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 cut. 
you see that I cut then I cut down straight this way I'm gonna cut the ample from here So friends, I've cut it out. So now I'm going to take off my front panel and cut out the. You know, this front panel hole is deeper inside. So I'm going to fold the shape and start my cutting from there. So this is the front panel, so front panel is this, I'll open it up, so that's the front panel, so I'm going to keep this aside, then the back panel, this is the back panel, so now I did my curve ruler because I told you I want my back panel back to be very curvy right so i'm going to push it this way to connect the see i'm going to connect it to draw the hole back because i want it to be deeper <laughs> that's how i want it so i'm going to fold it up and cut So I haven't cut this. Let me keep all this aside so they won't be on our way. <laughs> keep this aside. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open it up. See the back panel, look at the way the <laughs> it's very very deep. <laughs> So, this one, sorry, the ship just came out. So, friends, I haven't done this. The next step I'm going to do here is see this back zip here. I want my zip line to because it's not really i don't think i'll bother with it i want it to be curvy you know our back is not straight right so i was thinking of making it to cover in more just coming by half an inch and cover it in a bit more so i'll just leave it like that okay my friends i've already cut out the front and the back panel so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to cut out the lining because i'm going to line this uh, fabric because it's too light so my friends i've already cut out the lining this is the lining at the back and you can see this is the right side of the fabric i place the line on the right side of my fabric I also cut for my back panel as well and uh, you can also see that I did a marking on the neckline I took half an inch on the neckline that's the marking I'm going to stitch from here through that's the only place I'm going to stitch there I'm going to flip it over to the next side so when I finish doing that I'll come back and show you what the next step I did a video on how to tidy up your neckline I took my time to explain it. Have a look at that video where I took my time to explain how to tidy, tidy up a neckline. So I'm going to tidy my, my neckline. I'm going to sew the neckline of my front panel, the neckline of my back panel, that one as well, the neckline of my other back panel. Because I split it to grab the hat, um, 
zip on it friends as you can see i've tidied up my neckline for my front panel and also on my back panel and also my back panel. so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to take my iron to smoothing it out i'm going to smoothing out all these edges here so when i finish smoothing out all the edges and i'll come back and show you the next step so i'm just going to press it like this making sure my neckline is all smooth i did the same thing on this side as well i also did the same thing on the other side so after that i'll show you the next step now the next step is i'm going to add the back panel to the front panel so what i'm going to do here to make it easier for you you just put it like this that's the back panel place it like this then you place your front panel on it you know this my uh, lecture is all about beginner sewing so you won't get confused as a beginner so now you can see it's the back panel then the next thing you're going to do you take this one then place it up like this make sure the you should have slope is all equal then then what the next step is you take your pin making sure the shoulder slope on the front panel and the shoulder slope on the side is equal then you take your your pin then pin it up like so take the other pin you pin it up as well after doing this the next thing i'll do is the same part for the other side i'll take this side as well bring it out place it like this as well making sure it's equal making sure the shoulder slope is equal and the and the ham hole they're all equal as well that is very important then after doing that you pin it as well you pin up this side as well so when i finish that i'll come back and show you the next step